I will be right back. As soon as I download them at second poll. This is a triple um, three deuce Pontiac. Going in a, um, I think a 69 GTO. But I'm going to go read the diner sheet right now, let you know what she's doing. Hey guys, this is Bill Cannon from Awesome Engines. Uh, this is uh, Larry McConnell's new Pontiac Pro Street motor we just did for him. It has uh, got his trips on it. They are incredibly fat. The brake specific is running between 6 and 0 0.6 and 0 0.7. Uh, harder you turn it, the fatter it gets. But anyway, um, it's got a, basically a stock cam, small hydraulic roller. It is 10.25 to 1 compression, forged pistons. 1010 crank, ARP rod bolts, all balanced, blueprinted, new Kaufman cover, uh, got a stock distributor with an HEI kit put in it from, uh, I think that is called Flame Power, but anyway, she's dead in the water about 4800 RPM, but uh, yeah, 346 at 4650 and 469 torque, it never got below 400 until about uh, 3800 RPM. So, it's an animal. It is a little fat. He's got to work on it. I have no jets for it. I just basically put the manifold on and dynoed it for him. And uh, this is going in a four-speed car with a 320, oh, 66 GTO. With a 320 gear, with a four-speed. This thing's going to be an animal. And the acceleration isn't bad. There's no backfire. We did have to run like 35 degrees total timing for the 93 octane. At 30, it wanted to cough a little bit. But I let it warm up, do a cold soak. It's an animal, no oil leaks. I'll let you take a look at it. This is the original Trips. Um, it does have the stock HI or uh, point style distributor. As you can see, it's got a little flamethrower module with a uh, brazed uh, pickup right onto the shaft. It's got a small tube header hooker. Um, stock dampener. It's got the PRW uh, water pump with the. Um, yeah, the Kaufman one-piece remain seal. It is a four-bolt main block. Uh, it's just basically, it's a stock motor, guys. And this thing's swinging a 50-pound flywheel, 15-pound flywheel, or dry shaft underneath that. Another flywheel is what I started with, and an 80-pound absorber. So this thing is really rear-wheel horsepower. It's probably making somewhere around 425, maybe even 440. But it's a nice 450, it's a 4185 bore. Uh, comes to 462 inches and almost shot myself in the foot there. Anyway, this is what you get, so have fun and Larry, hope you get it and are happy.